Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for June 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for the month of June 2019. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please go ahead and email me. My email is in the description box below. Along with the, uh, the readings that I offer, I did put those back into the description box just to expedite the situation a little bit. So read through that. Let me know what you'd like to move forward with, and then I'll get you started on a reading. Now, if you can't decide what reading you would like to go with, still email me. We'll chat a little bit about it, and I'll help you uh, choose. Yes? Okay. Uh, keep in mind, guys, that these readings are meant to be timeless. So just because it's coming through for the month of June, it doesn't mean it has to resonate in the month of June. And if you are finding it after June at any point, whatever, and it's resonating with you, that, that just means that it's the right moment for you to get that message. Yeah? So keeping it cute, um, using the Golden Universal Tarot for the freestyle reading. If you're new to the channel and you're interested in a reading, you're getting an example of the freestyle reading here. You won't be able to see the cards um, because for these readings, I do like to do a face-to-face -face conversation with you guys. But when I do a personal reading for you, the camera will be on the cards, so you'll be able to see the actual layout in that sense. But as far as this reading goes, you're getting an introduction to the flow of the reading, yeah? So if you're interested in this type of reading, pay attention and then just let me know later on. Um, but I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot for our freestyle reading, and then I'll be closing the reading with some oracle guidance as usual. But this time, I have decided to get a brand new deck, and I'm going with oracle guidance from the Sacred Rebels Oracle by Alana Fairchild. I love this deck. I really resonate with it personally. I love the messages that have been coming out so far. I'm excited to see what else comes out for us. Yes? Okay, Libra, so let's get into it. You have a little bit of a pre-shuffle here. Um, you have, as I was channeling your energies, you know, you have some cards that came out. You have the, the King of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. This King of Cups energy has been coming out like crazy. And I don't just mean, like, say, for you, Libra. I mean, like, in all of the readings that I've been doing lately, well, not all of them, obviously, but a, a vast majority, um, the morning coffee readings I've been doing over the, I want to say, the last two weeks or so, maybe even longer than that, the King of Cups has been coming out. Um, personal readings, the King of Cups is coming out everywhere. There is a massive change, a massive shift when it comes to the masculine energy, okay? This could either be a masculine energy that you are connecting with in a romantic sense, maybe just a family member. I'm picking up for some of you, it's a family member, um, a friend, an associate, a business partner, whatever, it doesn't matter. Your own inner masculine energy, I think I may have said that already, but there's, I'm hearing, I'm, I'm hearing uh, uh, growing up and showing up in some way. Um, you may really be in, like, say, if this is you and you're you're the masculine energy here, um, or potentially this could just be the feminine. I'm sorry, the feminine that's dealing with their own inner masculine energy because we do have both. But say you're the masculine here that I'm speaking to. You, it's like you're starting over. You're reworking your life. You're rewording your life. You're re writing your story you're 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 taking some sort of emotional responsibility you're stepping up and you're changing the game okay you're changing the way you play the game page of cups page of pentacles and this is definitely from an emotional point of view that is allowing you to start over physically in some way create some sort of new life and here you have the magician underneath the deck which is talking about you manifesting a brand new destiny or a brand new reality and to be quite honest, um, this feels like you are, in, 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 in a sense, rewriting your destiny by changing your approach to life, changing the way that you um, handle things, the way maybe, maybe even the way you perceive things, changing the way you show up, taking more emotional responsibility for yourself in order to create a better existence moving forward. Um, and this could involve other people, but ultimately you're doing this from an internal place because a big part of, of this King of Cups energy, which does, in my opinion, represent emotional maturity, taking action in regards to your emotions. Um, shoot, I forgot where I was going with that. The King of Cups represents um, 
emotional responsibility and the way that you are allowing yourself to show up and perceive your life. So you're really, I'm, I'm sorry, I totally just lost my train of thought, but you're really just working on changing your destiny by changing how you approach life. Uh, oh man, there was a point in there that I'm so sorry, guys. I completely, completely lost it, but hopefully it'll come back. But I kind of feel like you guys got, you, you get what I'm saying already, okay? <laughs> All right, Libra, let's just get into this. Let's see what we've got for your month. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Librans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of June 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm giving this five shuffles. Yellow is a very strong color for you, Libra, right now. One, uh, it's speaking to divine masculine energy. Yes, that's what I'm hearing. Um, there is a, a great deal of balance that's happening when it comes to masculine energy. That was two. So this could either be you as a masculine energy, three, or at least a dominant masculine, uh, uh, more heavily ca carrying more of the masculine energy. The, domi the, ener the dominant energy within you is masculine because we both have, we have both. Um, you're either this masculine energy that's really changing the way that you approach life, the way you see life, or this is, the ma this is a feminine energy that's dealing with her own inner masculine energy. Four, and rectifying, reconciling, and five. All right, Libra, this is great. Okay, let's cut the deck and see what we've got for you. Boop. Overall energy. Oh, um, you also, you could be, with the pre-shuffle there, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could have Scorpio in your chart. You could be dealing also with another water sign, Cancer or Pisces. This is a general reading, so I'm, I'm just going to throw those out there. Overall energy is the Three of Pentacles. Beautiful, Libra. This is self-mastery. This is absolutely what we're talking about here. There could be some sort, some sort of entrepreneurship endeavor. Maybe you're trying to go into business for yourself. Um, it, has, it doesn't have to be that, though. In some cases, this could just turn into, eventually, once you really get down to it, once you really start taking responsibility, taking control, you may find yourself on a new path where either you're going into business for yourself, maybe for the first time, or you are starting a new business that is greater in line with who you are on an emotional level. It's something that's much more emotionally fulfilling. For some of you, this King of Cups energy with the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups with the Magician as well, all of this was in the pre-shuffle, for some of you, this actually is business oriented to begin with. It's like you're taking a stock, you're taking stock over your life. You're looking at where you've been in your life and you're taking responsibility for it. And you're saying, what is truly going to make me happy? And you're starting on that path. Perfect. Three of pentacles, self-mastery, building teamwork also. Yes, Libra, the chariot. You could be dealing with a, a Cancerian. There could be cancer in your chart. But this is literally you getting in balance and moving forward, okay? Found, finding the balance that you need it really, really in order to move forward in the direction that you truly want to be going in, all right? Uh, the chariot, oh my God. And then look at that. There's that king of cups again. Wow, really taking control of your life, really taking emotional responsibility. And then you have the Seven of Cups. Underneath the Seven of Cups, what's, what wants to show itself is the Ten of Wands. So it seems that there is still some sort of clarity that you, you're, you need to be coming to, you're working on coming to. Um, you know, because this isn't really, so this could be the, the theme of your month. Um, over the month of June or whenever this resonates for you, this could be the theme of that moment for you where you're, start, you're really taking emotional responsibility and stepping up, showing up for yourself, which also is going to help you show up for others. Um, but in doing so, 
you do, there are some things that you have to balance out that you kind of have to let go of with this 10 of wands, seven of cups type energy. There are some things that you still need to weed through. For some of you, this is where you need to, you, where you're working on understanding where your true happiness lies, where you're, where you want to be putting your emotions, what you want to be pushing, putting your emotions into. This is the, the act of gaining that balance so that you can move forward in the future. Okay, whenever you're ready. And that absolutely is this period or this phase of self-mastery with the three of pentacles here that you're entering into and taking responsibility for, taking ownership of, and really moving forward. Okay? So it looks like the name of the game right now, at least in this moment in time, either in June or whenever this reading is resonating for you, now the name of the game right now is to deal with the burdens, uh, weed through the emotions, weed through possibly the responsibilities or the things you may have invested your emotion, your creativity or your time and effort into and understanding where your energy is best placed and then releasing those burdens so that you can move forward with the chariot energy, okay? 11-11 on that counter. Boop! All right, Libra, let's get into the rest of your reading here. So you can look at this as the first half and the second half of your month. I recommend that you look at it as the first half and the second half of your reading because energies are fluid, time is an illusion. And at any moment, a message could come through at one point in the reading, but then another message comes through at another point in the reading and they're like directly related to each other. So I recommend that you just allow the energies to flow however they're going to go. But if you do want to look at it as first half, second half of your, re of your month, if that in fact resonates best for you, then take it, okay? Do what feels right for you. Take it as it resonates. And please don't try to fit anything anywhere that it does not belong naturally, okay? Excellent. First set of surrounding energies for you, Libra. We've got the Six of Swords absolutely this is definitely you moving forward leaving the past behind um moving from rough waters to calmer waters this is this is the mental transit that you need to make in order to move forward and release any sort of blockages or burdens that are keeping you from really moving on the path that you want to be on that's going to be the most emotionally fulfilling for you excellent six of swords is coupled with Ah, because you're done, 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 100% done, <laughs> Libra. Yes, I mean, look, this guy's got 10 swords stuck in him. Like, he's done. He's tired. He's over it. The worst is behind them, him or her, and that's why you're moving forward. Okay, Libra? That's excellent. But this, honestly, what this feels like here is you finally releasing whatever it is that this 10 of swords represents. And you releasing that is taking you, um, is requiring, excuse me, is requiring you to take emotional responsibility. That doesn't mean that you're responsible for everything that happened, but you still have a, a part in it. Intrinsically, we all have a part in every situation that we face, every situation we find ourselves in. We are never 100% completely innocent. We are never 100% complete victims. There, at some point, there is some sort of responsibility that we have to take in, this, in, in whatever situation. And what's allowing you to finally let go of these, this situation and move forward is you taking emotional responsibility here in whatever way that resonates for you and whatever part is necessary for you, okay? whether that's a major part in, in the situation or wh whether it's a minuscule part, yeah? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is gorgeous, Libra. This is literally you taking the bull by the reins, taking the horse by the reins and saying, I'm driving this ship now. I am going to change my karma, my karmic cycle. I'm going to step off this karmic hamster wheel because I am going to take responsibility for my part in the situation. Nothing more, nothing less. And that is literally all the universe is asking you to do, or at least has been asking you to do. As soon as you do this, Libra, your destiny, your karma, your fate changes for the better. Wheel of Fortune is coupled with <laughs> the Ace of Cups, Libra. That's fucking awesome. This is you handing yourself a cup of love. This is you taking the bull by the reins. This is you taking... Well, also is accepting love here. Maybe you are accepting love. And this is love in the divine sense, I really feel like. This is you loving yourself. This is loving yourself enough to know that 
You have to be the one to make the change here if you want to experience the change in your life. This is the loving grace from the universe, from God, from Gaia, from the spirit source, however you want to identify with it. This is that loving grace that allows you to change your destiny here. Wow, Libra, this is really powerful. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, you've got, okay, the five of cups. So let go of remorse and shame and guilt, sadness. I mean, allow yourself to have whatever mourning period you need. Um, but first, like, don't overdo it. Like, don't wallow in your own sense of self-pity. Allow yourself to grieve, but don't take it too far. Like, have a good cry, let it go, and then remember that you still have those two cups stacked behind you here. Okay? All is not lost. So the challenge is the grieving period. Sure. I mean, you, you have a lot to, to weed through anyway, but you're allowed to have this moment to, to cry, to cry it out, to let it out, to go, you know, to, to, to release the emotions so that you can have a clear way ahead of you. Five of Cups is coupled with, ah, the Queen of Pentacles. Very interesting. The Queen of Pentacles was underneath the deck, I think, at some point. Uh, I think it might have been right before I started the prayer, like over the, the over the the cards before I started shuffling officially. Um, the challenge, whew, okay, this might be a little bit harsh, but this is literally what I'm hearing. The Queen of Pentacles saying very, very, kind, pretty forcefully, get over it. Like have your cry, but get over it because it's not all, not all is lost. You still have the support of the universe behind you. It's this energy of the Queen of Pentacles that, uh, in which she represents a, a, a someone that's there to, to, to help you, to be a guiding light, to be some sort of foundation, to be some sort of maybe mother figure or uh, um, emotional support or uh, nurturing figure that's saying to you, all is not lost. You can still continue. You may have... You may have made mistakes. You may have spilt some things here or there. But ultimately, whatever spilled is toxic. You still have two cups right there. Like, you can still keep going. All is not lost. Come on, like, pick yourself up and let's keep trying. That Queen of Pentacles energy is a beautiful energy. She's very, she's very compassionate and caring and understanding. She understands the hardships of life. And she knows that we're here to make mistakes, to fuck shit up, to learn from it, and then try again. Hopefully we'll do better than we did last time. Now, it's not until you start taking advantage of this willingness to try again, try again, try again, that, that at that point, yes, yeah, she'll start to turn her back on you and maybe give up and walk away and be like, whatever, you gotta do this on your own now, I'm not helping you anymore. But that's not where we are like right now, Libra. This is encouragement. This is, that, this is that mother figure or feminine figure or nurturing figure that's like, you can do this. You can try again. Just take what you've learned and, and apply it to the next round. Yes? There also may be some sort of nurturing energy around you. Maybe a mother, uh, a father, a sister, brother, whoever, that is really just trying to help, that wants to be there to help you. Mm, but they're kind of saying you have to not focus so much on the pity aspect of it, not focus so much on what you may think you have lost, and in turn, try and balance that with what you may have gained, okay? Some of you may have actually lost a Capricorn, or some of you may have actually lost a feminine figure, a mother type figure, um, maybe they passed, Maybe this was a relationship that you just, you lost, in which you lost this person. It could be another earth sign, a Virgo or Taurus. But whatever you have lost, the universe is still there for you. So if you have lost a really nurturing figure, maybe this is a situation, Libra, in which you have lost someone in which you were taking their kindness for weakness. You were taking advantage of them. They were very nurturing, very caring, very grounded, down to earth, pretty motherly, was there to support you and help you and love you unconditionally but you never really returned the favor or you took advantage of them and now they have pieced the f out on you well that's all right because you still have the universe on your side yes closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here libra you've got the world beautiful i mean look at all this karmic completion here ten of swords wheel of fortune the world i mean come 
on, Libra. This is excellent. This is really, really excellent. Yes. Sorry, I had to remember how this was <laughs> laid out before. Okay. Excellent, Libra. I love it. Uh, the world is coupled with uh huh. The Eight of Pentacles. So this situation is coming to completion because you have closed out a cycle by doing the work. Or this situation is going to come to completion by you doing the work. Okay? Focusing on yourself. Focusing on your inner reality is what I'm hearing. Um, but this also could be a closing out of a cycle that allows you to move forward to new work. Like I was saying before. Maybe you're, you're in, you are, in fact, closing out some sort of blockage that has kept you from going into business for yourself, doing some sort of entrepreneurial work, um, or going into the career of your choice, or what, some sort of career that would be much uh, more emotionally fulfilling for you. Okay, Libra, this is really, really great. The biggest thing that I'm seeing with the we, uh, with the the world and the eight of pentacles is that there there is something closing out here that is going to allow you to do better work in the future or maybe more fulfilling work in the future. That's the biggest thing that I'm seeing here. And by choosing to love yourself, you choose you you're choosing to in fact change the destiny associated with this, change the karma that you receive or the karma that Maybe you close out the negative karma and you create some positive karma for yourself in which there are better things coming for you. There's better fulfillment, you know, on its way. Beautiful, Libra. Getting into the second half of your reading here, first set of surrounding energies for you, you've got the Empress. That is gorgeous, okay? Um, abundance, prosperity. This is also that motherly energy that I was kind of getting with the Queen of Pentacles here. You do have the universe on your side when it comes to this, okay? You absolutely do. And you are quite abundant. I'm feeling like the, f the, the future is bright. The, 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 the ground or the energetic surroundings are quite fertile for you to really make some huge changes in your life. But this also could be you stepping into that divine feminine energy and stepping into your own sense of feminine energy and really tapping into the fertility or the abundance that the universe has to offer you. Three of, uh, I'm sorry, well, it is the third. I was gonna say three of wands, that's really interesting. But the empress is coupled with, oh, the four of cups though. There was some sort of rejection. There was some sort of missed opportunity here. But ultimately, regardless of what you may feel like you have missed out on, there is fertile environment for you to create a new sense, a new form of this, to create something new here. Okay? Don't let, this, don't let a sense of some sort of missed opportunity get you down. Because ultimately... If, depending on whatever it is you've learned here, and in some sense, I do feel like you've learned something because you are taking emotional responsibility here, okay? So whatever you think you may have missed out on, you really haven't because ultimately you learned a lesson that's going to help you take hold of it in the future, okay? Or at least that's the way this was designed, yes? There were some things you needed to learn first in order for you to really appreciate it when you do actually have it in the future. And you will have it in the future. The abundance is here. You don't have to worry about missing out, missed, having missed that opportunity at one point, okay? The second set of surrounding energies in your second half of your reading here, Libra, you've got, ah, the Page of Pentacles starting over. Starting on a new level much wiser than you were before. See, that's exactly what I was talking about here. You have learned, you've learned a lot. You learned a lot. And so now you can start on a new cycle feeling much more confident, feeling better about yourself. Being a little more, uh, 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 either a little wiser or much more or much wiser, you know, depending on your, your perspective. Page of Pentacles is coupled with 
Yep, starting over, death. There is there is more Scorpio energy between the King of Cups and death. So you might have Scorpio in your chart, you might be dealing with a Scorpio, but there is a sense of starting over, turning a new turning over a new leaf even with death and the page of pentacles. I do feel like in whatever it is you've experienced here in the emo emotional responsibility that you're taking here, Libra, you are much more willing to honor the commitment to yourself in changing, in making some sort of change and starting over and following through with that. Okay? That's excellent. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Libra, you've got ah, the Three of Cups. I just heard social responsibility. So part of what you're going through or part of what your challenge is in reworking your life or this situation here is continuing to honor some sort of social responsibility. But in all honesty, in all honesty, Libra, um, you are who you are. Okay, so if you're going through some sort of changes and you are working on staying as authentic to yourself as possible, then you need to allow your content or your, um, your message, how you approach life, how you show up in life, you need to allow that to shift as you shift, okay? And if you lose people along the way or if people suddenly, certain amount of people start no longer resonating with you, then that's okay. That was just part of the shift. It's about going where your energy goes, doing the, in the thing, doing the things that are way more emotionally fulfilling for you, and then letting that attract the followers, the right people, the family, the friends, the community, whatever. Okay. Three of Cups is coupled with, yeah, the Eight of Swords. You're trying to change, but you're thinking that. If you change, you'll lose, ah, this must be pretty specific for someone, but it's like you, you think, because I'm hearing specifically, you feel like if you change, then you will lose your dedicated followers. And that's not necessarily true. And if it is true, if you do lose some followers or some, some friends or some people, if, no, if there are people that stop resonating with you, then, then, then you're no longer the messenger for them or you're no longer the friend for them or that's no longer the, the, the situation, the connection, the friendship, the bond or whatever, that no longer resonates with you and so you guys just need to go your own separate ways it doesn't make you a bad person and it definitely shouldn't discredit what you put out in the past if it was genuine now if in some situations you were not being genuine like say you were just going along with the flock and now all of a sudden you're turning into this radically different person that's going against the grain well yeah there's going to be some karmic backlash but if you have if you've been following your intuition if you've been following your light if you've been following your path along the way and suddenly things change then just let things change go with the flow don't worry about what people are going to say or how people are going to react that is on them and maybe this change is what they need Maybe they need to experience this. Maybe they need to react in this way. If you're triggering people, maybe they need that trigger. Follow your intuition. Follow the light. Follow the light guidance that's given. Follow your path. Follow your energy. Just go where it goes and let the rest work itself out. Yeah? Closing message or potential outcome here for you, Libra. You've got the nine of wands. Perseverance. Okay, so this is not too easy. This is probably... Um, a change that's been in the works for some time, um, but you are you are coming to the end of it here because look, you also underneath the Seven of Cups, you do have the Ten of Wands here. Okay, so you're coming to the end of the cycle of the drama of the karma. Just keep going. Perseverance is key. Yes, Nine of Wands is coupled with <laughs> the Eight of Wands. Just keep going. Because things are going to be moving quite quickly, quite swiftly. Um, if, you, if you're expecting communication or if you're wanting communication, you're wanting to communicate, I feel like the energy is going to be clear. The space is going to be open for you to really communicate. And this could just be communicating about this change that you're making here. And maybe having to fend off some, some naysayers. But ultimately, honestly, I really just kind of want to say that's their problem. 
If you're making a um, if you're making a natural change here, Libra, then do what is right for you, and let people react accordingly. You don't have to take responsibility for that, because you're already taking responsibility for making a, a a change that is more authentic, more fulfilling emotionally. Okay. Beautiful. All right, Libra. So let's get into your oracle card here. Let's see what we've got for you for this message, whenever it resonates with you, or maybe for your month of June here. Let's see what we've got. One more shuffle for you, Libra. All right. And here we go. Best message, please. Spirit for my Libras. There it is. Right there. You've got, ah, yes, card number 43, come to life. Beautiful. Let's see what we've got here. Okay. You are the most sacred of all sacred artworks. You are bringing yourself to life now, and this is how it must be. Of course, something being essential doesn't mean it will always be easy. You must support yourself and have courage during this process. Your monkey mind is not to run the show. It might have a lot to say, and at times it seems very convincing, but it is not the one in charge. Your mind can inspire you with ideas. However, it is the real you that speaks through your rebellious sacred heart and is living your life, not the monkey mind. The mind is not much more than a swirling car uh, cacophony of habitual reactions. Beneath habitual thoughts, there is a deep, sensual, creative, and energetic awakening happening to you. It is so far beyond what the mind is now capable of controlling. Others might not like it because it shakes things up. Coming to life tends to do that. However, it is happening now, and the only real choice you have to make is how to deal with it. Coming to life means feeling. It might bring joy, but it could all equally bring sadness, rage, or fear. It could bring all of these things and more. Feelings will come and go quite swiftly when allowed to flow. You might need to paint, write, enact ritual, sing, or dance your feelings to help the energy flow. Don't hold back. Create the space for yourself to do it. In this process, you are uncovering the artistry of the unusual creator. You are honoring the sacredness of life, wow, this is a long one, by exploring it without restraint, and that includes the flow of your feelings. You don't have to do anything with them other than express. You, might, you may want to analyze, or you may not. It doesn't matter. What matters is that you are getting in touch with feeling. Learning how to access your feelings allows you to learn how to access your intuition, creative inspiration, and genuine internal guidance. These aspects flow from the same place and are often ca uh, couched within your feelings in the form of emotions as well as physical sensations. The journey underneath the mind and into a sensual emotional connection with your feelings, emotions, and body is for a sacred purpose. It is a part of your path. You are one of the sacred but powerful minority that have chosen to come into a body and live consciously within it. That may seem like it applies to everybody, but when you experience it for yourself, you will realize that this is actually rather rare. There are plenty of bodies without a spirit residing, uh, really residing within to care for, love, and honor them as a sacred animal. Fortunately, this minority is powerful enough that it can keep human culture in balance, but only just. We need every single one of us that is capable to be aware of the task and move beyond the mind and into the body. This is especially so if you have drawn the oracle of beyond the mind, the heart beats, which we have not. But anyway, moving forward. To come into your, your sensuality, you will need to anchor your experiences. You may be blessed with relationships that are conscious enough to be in, interested in your journey in a constructive rather than controlling or undermining way. If so, talk, converse, share. If not, then you will need to be more resourceful in how you support yourself through your awakening process, at least until you attract more conscious connections into your life. It is likely that these connections are already on their way just because you are working with the energy of this oracle deck. 
This is especially so if you have also drawn the Conscious Connections or Collaborative Dreaming cards. But we haven't. <laughs> you can support your own process by scheduling time for yourself and keeping, it, keeping to it like you would the most important date with destiny. So get to writing in your journal. Do your dances. Paint your pictures. Create your creations. Be kind to your body. Listen to it and let it be alive. Even in times of pain, know that there will, always be, there will also be ecstasy and bliss as the process of healing and awakening continues. This message, the message of this oracle is be alive. Don't imagine you can go back to sleep. You are too awake for that now. There is no falling back into old ways. If you do so, it will be short-lived and won't feel the same as it used to. You may grieve this. You will hold, I'm sorry, you will certainly eventually celebrate it. You have crossed the threshold from an old way of being in an old life and try as you might, you cannot return. It is better to let it go. Grieve if needs be, celebrate if needs be, or do both and move on into this moment. There is another adventure waiting you now. You need a deeper connection to your own instincts, body, feelings, and intuitions so that you can receive this new calling. You can trust in it too. Embrace it and it will embrace you. Wow. So there you have it, Libra. That kind of covered like basically everything we were talking about in the tarot here. Anyway, great reading. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, again, if you would like to look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. My email is in the description box below. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great June and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of July. Yes, take care. Bye.